Hello everyone. Uh, I've just learned something quite cool that I think is very useful when creating levels. Um, so I had an issue where there was a pit in the ground and I wanted the enemies to be able to jump over the pit or down onto the pit when there was a platform lowered down onto it. So it would start off like, you know, this and if they ran over it, they would just jump into the pit and die, which uh, obviously isn't very smart. So um, I was thinking, if, is there a way to make it so there is, so there is triggers that are there, but only activated when triggered? And I started thinking that uh, there was a map file that Newhouse shared a while back, where there was a trigger that would only open a door after you'd hit a button. And I looked into that code and like what was going on there. And it was actually pretty simple and easily, um, it was easy to add onto other things uh, of the same ilk. So I've only found this works with uh, these kinds of triggers. So change level, hurt, monster jump multiple once. Um, I'm not sure about push, secret works, uh, set skill and teleport. So mostly just all the triggers. So say if I wanted to, let's just make a button real quick, nothing fancy. All right, so there's our very ugly looking button. And um, say I wanted to have our Hell Knight mate jump down after we hit that button but only after we've hit that button. So we'll make the monster jump as we would normally. And uh, as you can see, it's just a normal monster jump. Uh, where's the angle? I can't see the angle. Okay. Okay, there we go. A little bit of derping, but we've got it. So now that we've got that angle there, he will always jump down. It's always active. It will never change. But if you'd like to set it as uh, as like a latent trigger is what I'm trying, what I'm calling it. Um, so first you'll think you'll need is a target name. So we'll just name it something like ha. Take the target ha. So that is now targeting this. This one doesn't do anything right now. This will just work as normal, I'm pretty sure. So then we will change class name. Whoops. So where it says class name, we'll change that to use. And we'll change the, we'll make a new property, name it class name, and make this info not null. Now, this should work. Um, I think you need to set the speed and the height manually because it will not be inherited by like, um, it'll not be set by default. So, um, height. Yep, height. Oh, that's health. So let's just name this. Uh, test one. All right. Let's wait for my OBS to catch up. Okay, so my buddy cannot jump down. He's hitting the trigger constantly, he cannot jump down. Hit this button. Oh, you need to come back around here. You're being very naughty. And see, he can jump down. So uh, let's just have a look at that again. So he cannot jump down. And now he can. So this works for, or at least it should work, for every trigger type. So let's say that we wanted to put like, um, let's just say there's a portal here, right? And this is the level ending portal. But say that it's a door and maybe it doesn't show up until 
uh, later on. So you want this, or actually here's a better idea. The change level is always active, so you can leave the level. But it'll give you like an AD style leaving message. So we'll set it to multiple. Set the weight to two. Um, where are we at? Message. Other worlds await. Target name was ha. That's what we were using to activate these triggers. Um, so yeah, now we're going to get set the trigger multiple from class name to use. And we will set the class name to info not null. All right, and maybe just to be fancy, we will set an angle. So it will only trigger when you're looking at it. All right. Oh, I should probably test that what it, that it's not going to work beforehand. All right, so we're looking at the exit portal, not getting a message, no matter where we look. I'm not getting a message. Nothing's in the console either. So hit this, walk back over. Other worlds await. So yeah, I hope uh, I've explained it well enough that you can use it on anything you'd like. And yeah, thanks for watching.